There's an interesting debate going on right now. Fauna Andina says that during a wildlife investigation using camera traps, La Superintendencia del Medio Ambiente, let's just call them SMA, achieved the unprecedented recording of a Joffrey cat hunting rabbits in their burrow in Chile. The event occurred on the banks of a wetland within the already cataloged biological corridor. Although the species was not previously described for this location, it had been detected by Fauna Andina, and the recording itself is unique and demonstrates the role of predators in controlling invasive exotic species. It's expected that the SMA will continue to take protective actions for this and other species in the area, which is wonderful news. But the debate happened in the comments of this Instagram post, and they were saying, is it a Joffrey's cat or is it a Guinea? So I asked ChatGPT40, and it said to determine whether the wild cat in the image is a Joffrey cat or a Guinea, let's examine the key characteristics of each species. Joffrey's cat. Appearance. Typically has a spotted coat with black rosettes on a yellowish-brown background. The spots can sometimes form bands. Size. Generally larger than a guinea. Habitat. Found in various habitats, including forests, savannas, and grasslands across southern and central South America. What about the guinea? The appearance is smaller than a Joffrey's cat, with a dense coat that has smaller, more numerous spots. The base color is usually darker, ranging from brownish to black. Size, notably smaller, making them the smallest wildcat in the Americas. Habitat, primarily found in temperate rainforests of Chile and Argentina, particularly in dense forest and shrublands. So, ChatGPT 4.0 analysis of the image is, based on the size and proportions, the cat in the image appears relatively small. Coat pattern? The pattern looks more like small, dense spots rather than rosettes or bands. Habitat context? Given the location of Chile and the dense vegetation visible in the image, it aligns more with the typical habitat of a What do you think?